everyone welcome back to my channel with me Monique if you're new to this channel I upload videos weekly about fashion and lifestyle so if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would really appreciate it if you like to take the time and subscribe welcome to the whole part of the Woodbury Common shopping trip I went to Woodbury Common with a few of my friends a few days ago and I bought a few things. We went on a weekday, so it was really nice. So there was not like a lot of lines except for Gucci. I did went into Gucci hoping to find like a nice coat or maybe a nice pair of loafers. But I didn't see anything that was a good deal and the only pair of loafers that they had I didn't really want. They did have like a lot of things you can choose from. But a lot of times you really have to wait to have assistance. You know, if you want to look at like a bag, there's always a line of people wanting to see many different bags and you end up like waiting for so long. Maybe next time I'll try again because I do want to have a piece of ready to wear from Alessandro Michele now that of course he's leaving. Yeah, it'll be nice to have a beautiful piece of clothing from Gucci. Uh, we went to many stores along the designer's row. I went, we went to Bottega. Bottega has great like deals on um, bags and their bags and their SLG, but I'm not really in the market for bags. My friend did get a wallet from them though. Marni, Versace, Valentino, Fendi, Celine. We saw everything. Celine had beautiful coats, but they were really, really expensive still. Uh, we went to Saint Laurent, of course, and Givenchy. Let's go ahead to the whole part of the video. First, I went to New Balance because it was right there near where we parked the car. And I really like New Balance, actually. I got a pair in Bangkok and I love my 327. I think it's really comfortable and it looks great with a lot of things. So I went in there to look for 327 specifically and of course they don't really have options and the only ones they have is this pair um, from actually the kids section. So sometimes when I shop for sneakers, if I don't find them in women's, I shop for kids. I did that in Nike as well. I'm usually a size four and a half or five in um, children's sneakers. For adult shoes, I'm 36 or six, six and a half sometimes. So these are the pair that I got. This is the pair of 327, the only color combo that they have. I think the blue is great. These are great for uh, walking around the city when I'm running errands and also for a light workout. You know, if I go to rowing class or something like that, this is great for that as well. I don't mind the color. I think it looks good on a lot of things. I wear a lot of black, so if I go black on black, I think this color is great. It was, I think, extra 40% off, so this ended up being only $40. Next, I went to Frette. It's not a Woodbury coming trip if I don't walk into Frette, but this time I'm very, very disciplined. I only want to get um, one uh, bed sheet. This is the one Bourdon set. This one is white on white, so it is white with the white uh, also embroidery. I have a pair of these already, but I wanted to get an extra one so I can take it when we travel to Indonesia so we can leave it in our apartment there. Next we have Marnie. I love Marnie and I always try to go into their store. I was looking for a coat in every store. Um, Marnie didn't really have a coat. Uh, because everything was kind of sold during the Black Friday sale. We went after Black Friday, so there was no code. But I did find something. So this is from their market line from the home section. I got a cushion from Marnie. I think it's so adorable. I love the colors. It's really beautiful. And it stripes in the back. Love, love it. I do really need cushions, actually. So I'm glad to have one. I wanted to buy more than one, but actually this is quite small. I would need like a bigger one to pair with this. Next is this black bag from Versace. Uh, so sunglasses is on my list as well. I went looking for one at Saint Laurent, uh, Bottega, and then Chloe, but didn't really see anything I liked. I went to Versace and 
I saw this pair. I wasn't sure about it because I never had Versace like sunglasses before. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna like think about it. It wasn't really like amazing deal. So I left the store and then went to other stores, you know, and continued shopping. And then I just couldn't get it out of my mind. So I went back in there and I almost also didn't get it when I went back for the second time. But my friends were like, we're here already. We are not coming back for the third time because you keep thinking about these sunglasses. They look good on you and you need to get them. So I did. These are the pair of the sunglasses. It's kind of like a cat eye shape but not too severe and it reminds me of a very like early 2000s kind of shape. It says of course Versace on the side. Luckily not too big because I don't like when the logos are very very big. Let me try it on. So here, how they look like. I think they're a classic with a twist. I think they suit my face shape very well. Sunglasses are definitely something that you have to try on. I'm happy with the way this looks. Um, something that I can wear every day, but also not very boring. I do really like the shape of this. And I like when you can't see my eyes. I don't like the sunglasses where it's just tinted and you can still see my eyes. Like the whole point of me wearing sunglasses is that, you know, sometimes I want to be incognito. I don't have makeup on. I just don't want to see people. Last but not least is from Red Valentino. So it's actually from the Red Valentino store, which is the second line of Valentino, of course. Really excited about this because as you know, I've been looking for a coat for forever and I finally found one. You Actually, I found another one at Burberry and it's like black and really cute and dramatic with the tassels if you see the clips, but I can't justify that because I just got this vintage cape that also kind of like evening type of cape, so I really don't want to get another evening coat. I want like a black coat, but for every day, something that's really nice but more like a day coat. So here is the coat that I got from Red Valentino. They're having extra 40% off sale. I think extra 30 or 40% off depending on what the item is and depending on the season. So this coat is such a classic, beautiful coat. It's a camel color coat. I had coats like this in the past but I had to let them go when I was moving to Kenya. I let go a lot of, of my coats, that's why now I'm like trying to, um, I'm trying to buy more coats because I really don't have a lot. It has a belt and it fits me beautifully. The length is great. It's like down to my middle calf, so it's a good length for winter. It's warm. It's wool with a little bit of cashmere in it. And the fit is pretty good as well. It's comfy, it's chic, it looks great with a lot of things and it's easy to style and it's warm so that's always a plus. So there it is. It feels like a really good tailored coat. Now all I need is a black day coat. Preferably maybe something that is a little bit oversized and a little bit more uh, relaxed kind of uh, style. That's it for my haul for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share this video and leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!